this secret phone from 2019 supports Samsung DeX. Let's go. Samsung have just released the Galaxy A56. Now, a thing about the A series is it does not support Samsung DeX, but that wasn't always the case. Back in 2019, just two years after Samsung launched Samsung DeX exclusively for the S and Note series, Samsung did something in September of that year to change all of that. The Galaxy A90 5G was the first and only A series to ever support Samsung DeX. Super random because this is a specced out A series phone. It has the Snapdragon 855, which the Galaxy S10 in my country, Australia, didn't even support. It had the Exynos of that year. Has a massive 4,500 milliamp hour battery with 25 watt fast charging. The version I've got here is six gig of RAM, but I believe there was an eight gig of RAM option. It's got an impressive 6.7 inch full HD plus Super AMOLED display, which is impressive to look at and nice to use. A 48 megapixel main camera before high resolution even went to the S series. An eight megapixel ultra wide camera, a five megapixel depth camera, and then a 32 megapixel selfie camera. So on paper, this thing was monstrous, especially for an A series, even for a flagship. And those specs deemed it worthy enough to support Samsung DeX. Before I look at how DeX works on here, let's just look at the phone itself because it's confusing to me how this ever sort of got released as an A series. The display is nice. I do notice the 60 Hertz, but aside from that, the actual colors and the way it looks on the screen is very impressive. Obviously being super AMOLED with a flagship processor makes sense. And because it was running the Snapdragon 855, everything feels flagship about it. Operating One UI that's on here feels great. Interacting with all the apps that you get on here, again, feels very flagship-like. The cameras are good enough. The 48 megapixel main camera is decent and will take some good shots. When you switch to 48 megapixel mode, you do sacrifice a lot of dynamic range. You just can't process it. That's probably a little bit down to the processor of the time. Uh, detail is there, HDR and dynamic range is not. And you can see that in sort of the clouds in the sky and even the sky itself. Something Samsung really only just have kind of fixed properly with the S25 too. Video, not really something you want to take on here. 4K 30 was possible, but with no stabilization. It was shaky as anything. There is super steady on here because it is, again, flagship processor of 2019 had that capability and you can see the difference it makes, but in 4K 30, no stabilization, whew, rough had all of the camera modes that you could want as well. Portrait mode is good. And with the depth camera, it sort of helps that separation of foreground and background. And then of course you have all the other camera modes and just the ability to take decent photos, as you can see on the screen now. As far as build quality goes too, it's very premium to look at. It's very solid in the hand. A-series phones of that time sort of felt depressive to hold, not like upsetting, more in the case of when you pressed into them, it kind of had like a gap between the internals and the back, whatever material they were using at the time. This doesn't feel like that. This feels solidly built and the slight curve makes it comfortable in the hand. And then the colorways, like I've got the white one here and the prism effect that the four quarter quadrants sort of throw up in the lighting, really nice. And I think Samsung sort of should be applauded for the design they made. And it's always the case with the A series. They always have a bit of fun with it. Even with the A56 of this year, there's some elements of it that are a bit more playful than what you get on the S series. This video isn't just talking about the A95 G as far as being a phone goes. It's taking a look at DeX. Okay, I've got my A95 G here and I'm about to plug it in to my Viewfinity S9 monitor. Really simple. Simply plug it in via USB-C directly to the monitor. And within a moment, Samsung DeX has launched. I've got a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, my keyboard trio and just a Bluetooth mouse hooked up to the A95G. As you can see here, Samsung DeX is working. I can go and open up apps and I've got the home screen here. I could open up Samsung Notes. I really love using DeX for Samsung Notes. It's probably one of my favorite 
sort of ways to use Samsung Notes and Samsung Dex. And as you can see here, it works really nicely. It's running the Snapdragon 855. So there's really no reason for it not to perform. And like I said, Dex was two years old at this point. So plugging it in and having, having Dex loaded onto a screen is actually a really nice experience. Yes. If we jump into the Dex settings for here, you'll be able to see what Samsung sort of enabled for this sort of phone. The display resolution could only go up to full HD and the other stuff is such normal sort of Dex settings. When you want to open up multitude of apps, let's take a bit of a look here and see how many we can open. Go for settings. Why don't we go for calendar? Go for, haven't got a lot installed on here. Clock. Can't show more than five on the screen at one time. The thing is, this wasn't the only way to use Samsung DeX on this phone. You could also use it wirelessly. So when you go into the advanced features menu and you see Samsung DeX there, you can see DeX on PC, which on One UI 7 is gone. Or you can see DeX on TV or monitor. And that's the wireless option. When you select that, any wireless display that's around you will appear on the list. And you select it and it'll appear on that TV or monitor. For me, it was my TV in my lounge room. Then you can use the screen on the phone as a mouse and sort of operate Samsung DeX in that environment. And again, you can do it quite well. The other advantage too, is you still have access to your phone this way also. And with the wireless deck set up, you can still use your phone and it doesn't even really hinder it too much. It still works. So Samsung DeX on the A95G was honestly a very unique concept and I really wish they would have continued it, but why didn't they? Now, why did Samsung launch an A-series phone with Samsung DeX on it? And why hasn't it been done since? One question at a time. More for myself. Firstly, DeX actually wasn't the main selling point on here. It was actually 5G. In 2019, Samsung's only 5G enabled phones were the S10 5G that launched at the start of 2019, and then the Note 10 Plus 5G, which launched later in the year. They were about two grand Australian at the time, which for people who maybe wanted the next network connectivity, it was quite pricey. This launched at 1,049 Australian dollars, which if we're looking at it, it's probably about $699 US dollars. The byproduct of it needing to support 5G was that it also had the Snapdragon 855. And with this more powerful chip, it meant Samsung could activate Samsung DeX. And this whole value proposition, I think, was Samsung's way of trying to position it to businesses as a way of selling it in a, as a part of a fleet, as opposed to them needing to access 5G with a more pricier handset. This at half the price would have been a very attractive proposition. May not have sold too well though, because in 2020, the A91 was canceled. So why would that have been canceled? And why haven't we seen an A series support Samsung DeX since? The S20 FE is why. In 2019, Samsung released the S10 Lite and it sort of became not a global release, but it was available in a few markets. The interesting fact about that phone is if you really look at it, it technically looks like an A-series. So it makes me think that that was actually an A-series phone that was made, but was too good to release as an A-series and ended up being shifted as part of a light version of the S-series. But then this set off a bit of a chain reaction because the following year, Samsung kind of took that concept and built the Fan Edition. And when the Fan Edition came out, it sat in the price bracket of the A95G and there was 5G variants available. So why would then Samsung need to compete in that price bracket with an A-series and an S-series when the Fan Edition could do the job that this did? The, the Fan Edition 2 had better brand recognition. The S-series was more widely known than what the A-series is in terms of Samsung's branding. So there was a more cohesive offering that Samsung could sort of put on the market. So this A-series phone is a one-off the only A-series to ever support Samsung DeX is this one. For me, with how good the new chips are in the A-series, the A56 here, I don't see why Samsung couldn't put a light version of DeX on there. Maybe not even support the wireless DeX, just the wired DeX function, just to give people an option to use Samsung DeX on the A-series phones 
because it's a very competitive offering. And I think would separate the A series from all of the other mid-range phones on the market. Maybe even offer it with no 4K or just a watered down sort of overall experience could be a way of making it happen. Let me know what you think. Would you like to see some version of Samsung DeX come to the A series? I know I would. Got plenty of other Samsung DeX videos that you can go and check out because I'm very passionate about the subject. So make sure you hit subscribe because there'll be other content to come. I'm sure about DeX in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one. You!